So hi, hello and welcome again, Microbe Hunter here. And today in this video, I want to give you a short tutorial on how you can stain the spores of a mold of a fungus. Now, uh, they uh, are not in very visible when you put them under the microscope. The contrast is low. It's possible to see them, yeah, but uh, not quite as, as well as you probably would hope for. Um, and what I want to do today is I want to stain them using a very strong stain called Crystal Violet. Um, and uh, in order to do that, uh, I have to transfer the spores first on a microscope slide. I'm going to add the stain. And then the most difficult thing is, is I have to remove the stain again. Um, and I'll be doing that by... Yeah, I think I'm just going to show you how this works, okay? So first uh, first things first, um, I will now, uh, um, first of all, try to transfer some of the spores um, into a little bit of water. This is just regular tap water. Um, and in order to transfer the spores, I'm going to use some toothpicks that uh, um, can be used to pick up some of my spores. Um, if I find the toothpicks, here they are. Okay, um, and uh, normally what happens, uh, what helps a little bit is, is to make, uh, make it a little bit wet so that the spores are able to stick a little bit better. Um, how I've actually grown the mold here, that is a different story. Um, the, uh, the mold here is actually one that uh, starts to attack citrus fruits like lemons and oranges. Um, and I've uh, grown them here on some filter paper. Maybe you see, yeah, very small. It's dark green and gray. So this should actually be uh, enough. Uh, you want to mix it a little bit to break apart any clusters uh, of spores. Yeah, and maybe we try it again. Of course, you don't want to inhale them. I mean, yeah, that uh, goes without saying. Yeah. So I think uh, that should be enough. Let's put the lid on top. Okay, you want to dispose of the toothpick, of course. Okay, and maybe I'm going to add a little bit more water as well. Yeah, otherwise it, there's, it's going to be too little. So uh, now to the to crystal violet. Okay, um, maybe just applying um, applying a, a drop here might be a little bit uh, too um, too much. So I'll use a pipette again. Yeah, to take a, a very small amount. Okay, maybe that's enough, and uh, we're going to properly mix it. And you see. It's still, it's still quite, uh, still quite uh, dark. Yeah, and now a cover glass uh, goes on top, and we're going to have a direct look um, under the microscope. Yeah, and uh, here we are. Uh, all those uh, round, tiny dots that you see, these are now the spores of the fungus. And one of the things that you are going to notice is that they actually stain darker uh, than the surrounding uh, medium. Um, what happens is that the crystal violet starts to react uh, with uh, the material in the spores, and it's this, yeah, and it turns them darker uh, than the surrounding medium. Um, if you do not uh, dilute it enough, uh, then everything is going to be dark blue, and you're not able to see anything so getting the correct concentration is right and that's why I added a little bit of uh, additional water on the microscope slide so if you want to remove now some of uh, the uh, surrounding blue stain then there is a trick uh, that you can use and I'm going to show that to you again in order to remove uh, any excess stain uh, you can apply a you know, you put a tissue paper or a filter paper on one edge here right and you press down a little bit and on the other edge you um, you add a little bit of water you can see that uh, the water flows in okay of course now I made the mistake that I got some of the water also on top of the cover glass yeah so that is uh, of course uh, a disadvantage uh, but you can actually try to remove uh, some of the yeah see over here like this here we go right yeah I'm just using the tip of my um, of the pipette uh, simply to hold the filter paper right uh, but I think you get the idea, right? Uh, I added water on one side uh, and I removed uh, the stain, uh, the medium on the other side. And then there will be many spores will still be left uh, in here. And uh, do you see this part here? Well, this is actually uh, some liquid which is on top um, of uh, the cover glass. I have to remove that as well. So I'm just going to here use the filter paper and I'm going to remove this here on top as well because I do not want that my microscope objective touches this, right? Yeah. Just uh, for clarification, I, I was just holding the filter paper with the tip uh, of the pipette, okay? 
um, but you can also use your fingers if you want to. So and this here um, goes again under the microscope. So this is now using the 60 times objective and I think it becomes very clear now that uh, the spores are now much better visible yeah, to the background. The background is now completely, uh, almost completely white. Um, however, the spores have retained the pigment, the stain. Um, and uh, yeah, this is basically how it looks like. Yeah, so um, if you do not have crystal violet available, then I recommend that you try and experiment other, with other stains. For example, fountain pen ink um, is also a possibility to use. However, whether something is stained or not depends a little bit on the chemical composition of the stain. Right? Uh, I've, uh, found, for example, found that uh, the, the fountain pen ink works quite well with cheek cells, uh, um, but again, not all, not all cells stain equally. Okay? Uh, from my side, that's all I wanted to share with you uh, today. I hope that you found this video informative. Um, yeah, I wish you all the best. Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around in the next video. Bye-bye.